Hi guys, this is Tobias DL3MHT with another video about the True SDX. This time I managed to do the OLED modification, which is basically adding a small diode and an 8 volt LDO to give the OLED display a little bit more brightness. Links are in the video description. So I have uh, recorded three small videos in bright sunlight to give you an impression how this uh, LDO modification looks like and if it is something you want to tackle yourself or if you want to skip it. Small caveat though, <laughs> as I said, video is recorded in bright sunlight, which basically means the camera um, is going to very high shutter speed and that means you effectively do not see the full OLED display, but basically the screen refresh wandering over the display. I hope uh, the videos are still useful and give you an idea how it looks like. So let's jump right into it. So this is the True SDX powered via USB. So a little bit less than 5 volt going to the OLED display due to the protection diode. Basically it's barely visible. You might get the impression here that you can see it in bright sunlight but actually you can't. Okay, and this is video number two, where the True SDX is powered via the 12 volt connector. So 8 volt going to the OLED display. And I would say it's almost readable in bright sunlight. So definitely a big, big improvement. And uh, in video number three, where I move the True SDX in the shade, uh, it's absolutely no problem to read the display. So. As far as I'm concerned, um, it was a good idea to do the modification. Was it worth it? For me, the answer is yes. But I hope now you can make up your own mind. Thanks for watching the video and until next time.